Dale Carson Law is a very unique and specialized firm. We manage not only every aspect of your involvement with the criminal justice system, we also work in the civil arena as well. But let me discuss for a moment with you, if I may, the very basic issues that make us different from other law firms. I look forward to the opportunity to explain to you who we are and what we do in this rather unique marketplace called law. I am a retired FBI agent and a former police officer out of Miami. I certainly realize that it is frightening to be involved in the justice system. Recent studies show that the criminal justice system is probably the largest single monopoly any state government has over its people. And you need someone who understands that process from the very beginnings to the very end. And we are that firm. And uh, as a group, when you hire us, you're not just hiring Dale or Shannon or Ken, you're hiring the entire firm. Staff, very competent staff work here to make your transit through this judicial system a lot more comfortable for you. I am of the view, as are my colleagues, that there are five basic criminal offenses with which society really need be concerned. And it won't take you know, a rocket scientist to tell you what they are, and you know yourself. Nighttime burglary, when you're in your house, you sleep at night, you hear a noise, that's frightening. The next is potential murder, homicide, clearly a crime that we're all concerned about. Grand theft, you walk out and your car is gone, you worry. Where's my car? Who stole my car? And then, of course, aggravated assault and battery and rape for the women and men who are at risk. Now, I will tell you, that's only five crimes. But the system has become so involutionized that there are literally thousands of what I call administrative crimes. It is those crimes which affect most of us. Although we represent clients who are tagged with the five crimes that I've discussed, a more interesting aspect of our work, and certainly one that affects most people, are not those five major crimes. They're administrative. Driving on a suspended license would be one. Driving while intoxicated, another. And the list goes on to other arenas where it just really, if the courts didn't enforce the drug laws, would we be so bad off? Often the answer is no. But I want to give you a few just basic tips in dealing with law enforcement. Two years ago, I wrote a book called Arrest Proof Yourself, and it details the mechanisms that we use to avoid being arrested. What many people don't understand, and how I hope to educate you as we do all of our clients, police officers are in this universe to do one primary function, to perform that function well, and it is to put you in jail. And how is that accommodated? Well, too often it involves car stops, and we're all familiar with that. Your heart gets in your throat because you've looked in the rearview mirror, and there's a unit with its blue lights or red lights on, and you're getting ready to get stopped. And you worry, you know, do I have my license with me? Do I have my registration? Do I have my insurance card? All of which are ticketable. Do I now have my seatbelt on? I consider this too much government, but it is what it is. And in recent Supreme Court case, law enforcement is no longer permitted to search your car on a simple traffic stop. Now, the key here is that you can't permit the search. So you can't agree voluntarily to have the police search your car. And here's how this unfolds. You'll simply be sitting in your car, the officer will walk up, ask for your driver's license, your registration, and your insurance card in verbiage so quick you don't really understand it like I just did. And you'll give him that or her that. Then they'll look at you and say, you're not carrying any guns or narcotics with you, are you? The answer, of course, is no. And then they will ask, well, I don't, you don't mind if I search your car, do you? Your response is, yes, I mind, and no, you may not search my car. Because if you consent, despite the recent Supreme Court ruling in Gantt, 
you are now authorizing the government to search your vehicle. Now, let's just say you've lent your car to someone else who's left some narcotics in your car, an administrative crime. You're going to get charged. It's a felony, more potentially than not, and you're going to have to hire an attorney. Why do you want to hire us? The reason you want to hire us is a thing called tenacity. I do not like to lose, and neither does anyone else on our team. You will have the very best representation that money can buy. And now, yeah, that's true. You only get really good representation, frankly, if you're paying for it. Are our fees reasonable? Yes, they are. We don't try to overcharge people because we work on the basis of referrals, and many, many clients refer other clients to us. It's how we make our living. Search Dale Carson Law and see our webpage, www.dalecarsonlaw.com. You can also find us in the social media, LinkedIn, LinkedIn groups. We are on Blogspot, uh, where I'll be discussing cases of current media interest. You can find us, as disgusting as it sounds, tweeting on Twitter. And finally, we are on Facebook groups. So, dalecarsonlaw.com. Search us. We look forward to seeing you.